Let's play with some sounds and words today. So remember that you know how to listen for words that rhyme. And rhyming words end with the same sound chunks. So you'll be listening for rhyming words. When you hear words that rhyme, you're going to wave your hands in the air. And if the words don't rhyme, you should just keep your hands on the table. So listen as to what I mean. I have leg, peg. Both words end with egg. Leg, peg, egg. So they rhyme. So you should be waving your hands in the air. So let's do some more rhyming words. Ask yourself, do these words rhyme? Tote, dot. What sound chunk do you hear at the end of tote? Oat. What sound chunk is at the end of dot? Ought. So listen, oat, ought. Are the sound chunks the same? They are not the same. So tote and dot don't rhyme. So your hand should be on the table. Good job. So let's do some more. Beat, get. Those do not rhyme. Late, date. Yes, those rhyme. Gem, heel. No, those do not rhyme. Hut, cut. Yes, those rhyme. Our ending chunks are of hut is ut. The ending chunk for cut is ut. Hut, cut, rhyme. They both have the same ending chunks. Find, kind. Yes, those rhyme. Joke, poke. Those also rhyme. Okay, so now you're going to tell if pairs of picture names rhyme. If the words rhyme, remember, you wave your hands in the air. If they don't rhyme, you just keep them on the table. Ready? So let's look at the pictures under number one. What are their names? Zipper, zigzag. Do the words rhyme? No. They do not have the same ending chunks. So your hands are on the table because those do not rhyme. Let's look at number two. Bat, hat. Do those words rhyme? Yes. And are your hands waving in the air? Bat, hat have the same word chunk at the end. At. What are some other words that might rhyme with bat and hat? Cat, mat, sat. Those all have the at at the end. So let's look at these pictures for number three. What are these pictures? This is a tray and this is hay. Do those words rhyme? Yes. Are your hands waving in the air? What are some other words that might rhyme with tray, hay? Bay, play, say. All of those have the same ending chunk, a. Let's look at number four. They are a map and a cap. Map, cap. Do those words rhyme? Yes. You should be waving your hands in the air. What else might rhyme with map and cap? Lap, nap. And what about number five? This is a comb and a cow. Do those words rhyme? No, they do not have the same ending chunks. Good job. All right, so for each pair of rhyming words that I say, 
I want you to say the vowel sound you hear and name the vowel and name that vowel sound. So listen, I'll do the first one. Leg, peg. The vowel sound in leg and peg is e. Eh. E eh is the short e sound. So I will move the short e tile to the first number one. To the number one. Listen again. E egg. That's a short e sound. Pe egg. Peg. That's a short e sound. Let's do another one. Remember, say the vowel sound and then tell what sound it is. Um, late date. What sound do you hear in the middle of late date? A. A is the vowel sound that you hear. And is that a long A or a short A? It's a long A. It says its name. A. When we hear a word with an, a, a vowel's name in it, that's a, the long sound. So I'm going to move long A to number two, and we're going to keep going. So my next, my number three words are hut, cut, hut, cut. What did you hear? What vowel sound did you hear? I hear the uh, hut, cut. That's the short U sound. Uh, uh, short U sound. So I'm going to move it to number three. Number four, find, kind. Find, kind. What do you hear? I hear the I. Find, kind. I and when I hear the vowel's name, I know that's a long sound, and that's going to be the long I. Long I. And last number five, joke, poke, joke, poke. What do you hear? I hear the. Oh, remember when we hear the vowel's name in the word, that's a long sound. So that's going to be a long O. Joke, poke. All right, y'all did so good with that. Let's keep going. So look at the pictures for number one. What are their picture names? Remember their rhyming. Bat, hat. What vowel sound do you hear in the middle? Ah. The vowel is the vowel sound short or long? Bat, cat, says ah. Ah is the short A sound. Short A. So now let's look at the pictures for number two. Their picture names are tray, hay. What vowel sound do you hear? Tray. A. You should hear the long A. Remember when our vowel sound's name is in a word, it's the long sound. Tray, hey. And number three. We had two pictures, do you remember? Map, cap. What do you hear? What vowel sound do you hear in the middle of that word? Map. App. You should hear the a. Ah. Is the a ah sound short or long? Short. That is a short a sound. A. Ah. Let's focus on some of our consonants. Remember yesterday we talked about double consonants. Double consonants is where we have two of the same consonants sitting next to each other. Duck begins with the D sound. The D sound can have different spellings. 
you know the letter D can stand for the sound D at the beginning and the end of the word. Look at the spelling that is circled in the picture of, or under the picture of the duck, the DD. The double consonants DD can stand for the D sound at the end of the word. The two letters together stand for one sound, D. When a word has one vowel and it's followed by double consonants, the vowel has the short vowel sound. And we will keep looking at that and learning that. Let's look at this one. Fish begins with the f sound. The f sound can have different spellings. You know the letter F can stand for the sound f at the beginning and end of a word. So look at the spelling that's circled under our picture of a fish. FF. -F. The double consonants can stand for the f sound at the end of a word. The two letters together stand for one sound. When the vowel, when this word has one vowel and it's followed by the double consonants, the vowel has the short sound. Remember, double consonants, that is one sound. So lion begins with the o sound. The o sound can have different spellings. You know the letter L can stand for the sound o at the beginning and end of a word. But look at the spelling that's circled under the picture of the lion. The double consonants can stand for the o sound at the end of the word. The two letters together stand for one sound, o. When a word has one vowel and it's followed by the double consonants, the vowel usually has the short vowel sound. One more. So seahorse begins with the s sound. The s sound can have different spellings. You know the letter S can stand for the sound s at the beginning and end of a word. So look at the spelling that's circled under the picture of the seahorse. S S. The double consonants S S can stand for the s sound at the end of the word. The two letters together stand for one sound. S. When a word has one vowel and it's followed by double consonants, the vowel has the short vowel sound. Okay, last one. Zebra begins with the z sound. The z sound can have different spellings. You know the letter z can stand for the sound z at the beginning and the end of a word. But look at the spelling that's circled under the picture of a zebra. Z, Z. The double consonants Z, Z can stand for the Z sound at the end of a word. The two letters together stand for only one sound. Z. When a vowel, when a, when a word has one vowel and the double consonants, that vowel is usually short. Let's look at some examples. So we have f, i, o. Notice how I have two L's but one sound, o. These two double consonants are sitting next to each other. One sound, f, i, o. F, o. Fill. My word is fill. Notice how two consonants one sound. Very important. Let's look at the word or the sounds m, e, s. Two consonants, two double consonants, one sound. m, e, s. me, s. mess. My word is mess. a, d. a, D, two double consonants, one sound. Odd, odd. Let's look at another one. F, a, z. Look, two double consonants, the z and the z, 
one sound. We only hear it one time. F fuzz. 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 We are working on blending these sounds together. J, E, F. Double consonants, one sound. We hear it one time. Jeff, Jeff, J, I, O, two L's, one sound. We hear it one time. J, I, O, J, O, Jill, Jill. Okay, so let's blend and read some words. These words have, well, most of them have double consonants. Double consonants. Two consonants, two of the same consonants, one sound. So we're going to read each line one at a time together, and then we'll talk about the words. Let's do line one. Dull. Odd. Well. Add off. So how are these words alike? They all have double consonants at the ends. Two L's, two D's, two L's, two D's, two F's. And the vowels are short. These vowels are short. Short U, uh, short O, ah, uh. short E, eh. Short, short A, ah, short O, ah. Okay, so how are they different? Well, the, not all of them have the same beginning sound, and they don't all have the same middle sound, um, and they don't all have the same double consonants. Let's do not line two. Are you ready? Let's read. Tell, pass, will. Miss, yell. Let's do them a little bit faster. Tell, pass, will, miss, yell. Now let's look at line three. These are words that we have had before. Let's read. Are you ready? Quiz, yes, pin, cup. Wet. I hope you read those with me. And then some of our challenge words down here. Um, let's read them. So, Dell, Mutt, Quill, Smell, Drill. So let's look at smell and drill. These are a little bit more complicated because they have two consonants at the beginning. Smell. Smell. Dr. D -er. Do you hear that? D -er -il. Drill. Smell. Smell. And then of course we know that the QU sitting next to each other next to each other makes the qu sound. The qu sound. Let's read line five and six. These are complete sentences. Capital at the beginning, punctuation at the end, and it tells a full thought. It's got a who and it's got what that who is doing. Let's read. Miss Lynn will tug the bell. Let's do it again together. Miss Lynn will tug the bell. And let's do line six. Jeff fills, remember S is at the end of words, we don't leave them off. Jeff fills the bus with gas. Let's read it again. Jeff fills the bus with gas. Notice how that when we're reading, we are fluent. We are reading at the same speed that we would talk to somebody in. All 
Okay, so let's read the green words together. So we have the word well, w l, and will, w ill. Now let's read our pink tiles over here together. Dull, odd, add, off, tell, pass, miss, yell, del, mutt, quill, and bell. So we're going to look for words that rhyme with well and will. Um, and then we'll move these words to where they will belong. All right. So which part of the words that rhyme, well, which part of the word well should we be looking for for rhyming words over here? We're looking for the ending chunks. So dull, well, will. The ending chunk does not rhyme with either one of those. Odd, well, will. Those are not as not a rhyming word for either one of those. Add, no. Off, well, will, no. Tell, well, yes. Tell and well are rhyming words. Pass, well, will, no, miss, no, yell, yell, well are rhyming words. Del, well, del, mutt, well, will. No. Quill. Quill will. That's a rhyming word. Bell. Bell well. That is a rhyming word. Okay, so let's look at our rhyming words. Well, tell, yell, del, bell. Those are rhyming words will, quill. Remember that rhyming words have the same ending chunks, the same ending chunk sound. So L, tell, yell, del. Bell. Let's look at will. We're looking for the ill. Will. Quill. Ending chunks help us to, to decide if they are rhyming words. Now, you have a story, a Start Right Reader, a little decodable in your book bag. And it's titled, Jobs, Jobs, Jobs. I would like you to get that decodable out of your book bag and read it to or with someone who is there helping you.